Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neil and I'm here with Kiki Sparkles. Hello. And uh, Space Daddy's on a tear. He's going after <laughs> Disney CEO Bob Iger and other advertisers who have pulled off of Twitter slash X. He's pissed because they pulled out. They Yeah, he wanted them to finish and, and they just, they wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, hitting them in the, hitting them in the wallet. And th this whole thing goes back to accusations that Twitter slash X, I guess this is X at this point, is is hosting uh, anti-Semitic content. And that is a whole nother thing. Um, we'll talk briefly about it, but you, you can go out and Google that whole thing. I'm not even 100% sure where they're at with it. But as I understand it, there's a website called Media Matters that was going out of its way to uh, trigger the algorithm to show anti-Semitic and uh, white nationalist content alongside of brands like Disney so they could go running to Disney and be like, look, look, look what your ads are sponsoring. And, and Disney is like, anytime anything like this happens, they just, they're completely gun shy. They, this happened with uh, uh, YouTube That's too. That's the first thing I thought was the apocalypse. The apocalypse, there were multiple. Actually, Disney triggered the original apocalypse. They did in a mm -hmm. roundabout way because they were the uh, MCN that had PewDiePie in their network and they kind of freaked the hell out. And then a bunch of advertisers pulled out of YouTube because of PewDiePie. And then, um, you know, uh, Disney and a bunch of other companies pulled out after the second apocalypse, which was when they were purging a lot of uh, kid content mm -hmm. off of the platform. And, uh, you know, that was the whole thing. That's when they started disabling comments, I'm sorry, on content that had kids in the videos. And it destroyed a lot of these, you know, family YouTube channels that were, you know, they had their kids and they're like, here's our day, here's our morning ritual, here's our, well, yeah, they, they kind of uh, stopped advertising on a lot of those videos and they disabled the comments, which trips up in the algorithm. And a lot of these people just couldn't couldn't make a go of it anymore. Mm -hmm. If you did anything that was like kitty, you weren't allowed to. <laughs> there There's so, uh, many, so many things. So many things. We're not gonna, I'm, I'm not going to touch them. Um, so many things. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's talk about Elon Musk telling Bob Iger specifically to go F himself. Um, yeah, like, I haven't been invested too much. I mean, I knew the ads were being pulled and stuff like that. I knew about the Media Matters thing because I was like, well, that sounds about right because these people have gone out of their way to cause trouble other places. I don't know what else was being said. I kind of try to stay out of this stuff because – but then I'm like, if Disney's mad and they're pulling ads because they said they're anti-Semitic, does that mean that they're they're getting in trouble with all the people who, you know, take the other stance? Are they yeah, right. Disney? Right. I, just, I, I am trying to stay out of all this, you know, on on videos and stuff like that. But um, this is funny, though. So let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, there's going to be some vulgar language in this video, of course, if you watch. That's right, and it's not coming from me. Uh, well, wait. It already said something already. But the rest, but the stuff that's bad is not coming from me. Let's talk about the article first, and then we'll show you the clip in question. This is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. Elon Musk to advertisers who left X. Go fuck yourself. That's it wasn't how coming for me. Yeah, that's how I feel. Don't advertise, Musk said in response to Disney CEO Bob Iger earlier in the day. Uh, Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, says that the current advertiser boycott could kill the company. What this advertising boycott is going to do, it's going to kill the company. He said, that's the point, mm -hmm. Elon and he's smart enough to know that. Like they can't basically they can't have Twitter anymore, so he's not allowed to have it either. Mm -hmm. You know, the the quote unquote uh uh right-wing chuds aren't allowed to have have Twitter. So we have to destroy it. The whole world will know that those advertisers killed the company. Musk was interviewed by Andrew Ross Sorkin Wednesday afternoon at the New York Times Deal Book Summit. New York Times, they were salty, right? They weren't going to advertise or they weren't going to post on Well, here's what's so funny, Twitter though. Either. They're not advertising, but Disney's back to posting on Twitter because they need it. Yes. But they're, they're like, we're not giving you money, but we're going to use you to try to make money. They so, get posting their butts off on there already. They lasted a few days and they're back to posting again. So there was a, a a full day of speakers, including the vice president, oh, including I, I think the FTC. Vice president still around? You yeah, she disappeared, her. didn't she? Um, the FTC chair uh, Lena Khan and Disney CEO Bob Iger. We're going to talk Ooh, about so we even Bob Iger was there. Yes, <laughs> yes, he better. was. That's that, no, because he asked him if he was in the audience. Yeah, well, that's right. I knew. Oh wait, he said it with Bob Iger in the audience. Yes. Oh, I didn't catch that part. No, we're gonna. I, I okay. didn't hear it. The, okay. I, I've just been told. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna play the the Fine. clip here. I gotta get my headset on. Get so your you headset hear this on. Weird noise. That's me putting a headset on. Okay. 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 Ready? Okay. Let's let's do he this. He says Bob Iger in the audience. 
but go fuck yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. <laughs> well, well, let me ask you then. Uh. <laughs> I, so what to... <laughs> like, I don't know advertise. what to say. How do you think then about the economics? Of... Oh, my God. That's epic. I, you know, I'd do the same thing. You know I would do the same thing. I don't know. I don't know if you would. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, look, they're making such a big deal about it. I, I Yeah. He's well, he like, said it like three times, didn't he? That was just yeah. The, the go fuck clips. yourself. Yeah. He said it like three times. Yeah, he wanted to be clear so people didn't misquote him. Like, go fuck yourself, because again, this goes back to. Uh, okay, so Disney in the past has has, has used advertising uh, other companies too, but Disney was the one that was usually named to bully YouTube and other places. Yeah. To, you know, supposedly to make differences and you know to make you know culture impacts or whatever. They bullied them with advertising money, and they got what they want. Even though the the, the the kind of theory we had was Disney didn't want to pay as much for the advertising on YouTube, so they basically, you know, had a hissy fit meltdown, threatened to pull the advertising so that they would lower the rates. Yeah, so Disney, this also explains why the downvote uh, the downvote count is hidden on, on YouTube, YouTube now. They give a lot of money to YouTube because they, they do spend a lot of money on YouTube, I think. And you know, the, again, you can put pressure on companies if you're one of their biggest accounts or one of their biggest clients. I mean, I worked for newspapers, I worked for digital publishers, and if you get one of your, you know, top three accounts come in and say, "Hey, we're going to pull X millions of dollars per year." If you don't do this, that, and the other thing, and you know that that's going to be catastrophic to your bottom line, they're gonna they're gonna count out. Yeah. So you wonder you know? why newspapers or you know go the way they go, why they report on things they report on, and you know don't always tell the news and the truth. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of times it is bought and paid for by the advertisers. Well, everybody's like Disney's great. Disney's great. It's burning down. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like that, that. That's just it. If you want to keep getting your your advertising, you want to keep getting access. You're gonna you're gonna say nice things, right? So this whole thing goes back to again these allegations of there being uh, you know uh, lots of anti-Semitic content on the platform. You know, it's the internet. I'm sure it's there. I mean, oh, I'm sure I know, now, especially I know, I know, now, I've especially it. it is. Yes, especially yes. now. There's a lot of things which I think is highly ironic given that some of the people that are spewing it the most are the ones calling everybody else alt-right Yahtzees. But okay. Um, yeah, so that's going on on the, on the platform. Uh, like I said, I stay out of it for the most part. Um, I have my thoughts on the situation. I don't – that's my thoughts and I don't have to share it on, on YouTube. Um, but I stay out of it. I just think it's funny because they did catch this place. Well, he's suing anyway because they said they have they have proof that they were doing it. Yeah. So there's this lawsuit. And as I understand it, I haven't been following this super, super close. But Media Matters is a website that basically goes out and targets any conservative or right leaning news outlet. I mean, they were calling uh, calling a, a Dave Rubin uh, uh, an anti LGBTQ bigot and a known anti. And it's like, dude's gay. He's yeah. married to a dude. And they've got babies, babies coming. Explain that one, you know. So Bother. they <laughs> which part? Anyway. Well, okay. So yeah. It's a little more complicated than it is the traditional way, I'm sure. But you know what I'm saying? Like they they uh, really they don't They didn't do the research for one. They don't do their but research. But then then they go overboard. They didn't research that, but they went overboard trying to allegedly trick the algorithm to, you know, show Disney ads next to what they were considering white supremacists. Right. Like, you that, know, that is Semitic posts. That is my, that is and, my understanding of the situation. And then people ran to those companies and said, look, 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 they're advertising your stuff to these people. Well, are you going to stand for that? And again, a lot of companies have pulled their advertising. Uh, Disney pulled for days and now they're back on. They're not supposedly giving them advertising money, but they want to use Twitter to b boost their stuff. Yeah. So he, uh, he should just kick them off of Twitter. You should. Um, I mean, you know. So yeah, this is this is just part of the lawsuit here. Is that Media Matters knowingly and maliciously manufactured side by side images depicting advertisers post on X Corp social media platform besides neo Nazi and white nationalist fringe content, and then portrayed these manufactured images as if they were what typical users would experience. Yeah, my understanding is again they tricked the algorithm. They basically would create. Uh, or they just made, they just made them. I don't they know. They just Photoshop it. I don't or know. What the hell? But my understanding is they were creating new accounts. Uh, that's This is no, what's being alleged. Shocker. These people create new accounts and then go you know, harass people? Never heard of it. They were creating new accounts and then going and following these, these you know, alt-right accounts, these nationalist accounts, whatever. And then, of course, the algorithm is, since that's what you're following, 
they're going to show you that, but then they're going to show the ads in between. Yeah, but I think this all know. started before that, wasn't it? Over because Elon Musk made some reply she to said somebody. Something like, I don't yeah. like. I said I didn't even. I I think I do remember seeing it like back when it happened. I remember thinking I didn't. I didn't understand what the situation was. Yeah. Um, so I think what's got. I personally think what's going on here um, is one. They're incredibly angry because they lost Twitter. You know, the, the basically left-wing media had Twitter locked down. That was their ground zero. And they lost it to this guy, and they can't stand it. Uh, also, we're, we're ramping up the 2024 elections. And Twitter was, you know, again, ground zero for a lot of stuff last couple times around. And they're like, well, if we can't have it, we'll just burn the damn thing down. Well, I don't know. I just think this this whole thing is just getting out of hand. But, I, I yeah, I can't believe the guy that was interviewing him, his face was like, wait, what? You know? He puts his, like, if you saw the first time he said it, he puts his hand over his mouth like, I don't even know what to say, you know? Yeah, he said that he shouldn't have said what he said on, on X. He said, yeah, you probably shouldn't have. I yeah. mean, I don't, I, I, I remember seeing it. I honestly cannot remember what it was about exactly. I do remember seeing it. He said that, um, I should, in retrospect, have not replied to that particular post and I should have explained in greater length what yeah, I meant. Yeah, I didn't get, again, I don't remember the post, so. Uh, I hand a loaded gun to those who hate me. And then that is what kicked off. But they, look, the, the truth of it is they have been gunning for Twitter since he bought it. People right. kept telling me that they did not believe Elon Musk was capable of buying it. I'm like, bitch, he is the richest man in the world. He can buy whatever the fuck he wants to buy. But this you know? move like by the advertisers is not new. They, they do this all the time. And a lot of times they're just trying to get cheaper rates. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it. Like, well, okay, we'll we'll we'll, we'll I don't buy think your it's inventory. Work. I don't think it's going to work, Bob. I think that he's not going to give you a better rate if you come back. Well, let's let's talk about this. So this is what Bob said about explaining why he pulled his ads uh, from X. And I think it was the same same thing. Um, yeah, the New York Times Deal Book Summit. Iger was spotted sitting in the front row during uh, Kamala Harris's interview, and the vice president walked over to greet him. After, no, geez, there's no bias in the Disney company at all, is there? Uh, after her conversation ended, during the conversation, balloons spelling out the phrase cease fire flowed outside the window. Um, Sorkin did not shy away from hot button topics. Again, talking to Iger and stuff. Uh, well, clearly you didn't. Yeah. Grilling Iger about the company's feud with DeSantis and about Disney's decision to pull advertising off of X. I have a lot of respect for Elon. He has a hat for you. And what he accomplished. Go, go fuck yourself, Bob. Uh we know that Elon is larger than life in many respects, and his name is very much connected to the companies he founded and owns. By him taking the position he took in a public manner, we felt that the association was not necessarily a positive one no, for us. No, a bunch of people were whining to Disney is what would happen. Now, this is interesting, though. This is, this is the Hollywood Reporter, and they point out before getting into what Bob Iger said that he's chumming around with the vice president. Well, and then Disney I'm had no saying. problem getting political themselves. No. He's like, but he and at the time, I remember Iger saying, "Well, companies have a responsibility to be that way." That he said that, I remember. Yeah. And he said it's really hard for public leaders to not say anything. Um, but I do remember when Chapek made the comments he did, and they were doubling, tripling down the Florida thing. Iger said, "Well, companies have a you know responsibility to to do that kind of stuff." Now it's interesting because he really did grill him. Damn, he was like uh, he was talking about Nelson Peltz, the activist investor who's seeking board seats at Disney. Uh, Iger says the board has an obligation to listen to investors. I'm certain that the board will hear them out as to what their plans are, Iger said to Peltz. But we have to obviously contend with them in some form. We don't uh, for, uh, but don't force me to take my eye off the ball and managing the company. It's not like we have a number of empty board seats, he said. Well, there should be because some there of should them be. should be. We, you know. we can make some. Oh, and then he doesn't apologize for making sequels. There's been an artistic reason to make them. It's called It's Green. It's Green. Um, green is our favorite green color. Have too many. Um, no, there wasn't. This isn't. This isn't how the part where he was talking about was this one that had the DeSantis in it, and he was saying that he was mad about DeSantis because um, he was taking away their their rights they had or something like that. I forget how he worded it. Go back. I don't remember what he said, but there was something about it was basically implying that you know that the governor took away what their their power they've had for years or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, the problem was Disney was was abusing the power. Like they were just deciding on their own what they were going to do and not do. They you know they. He, they weren't supposed to control Reedy Creek, but that yet yeah, everybody knew that it was it was open secret. They did, you know. I mean, I still don't think that's wrong. I mean, I think that that uh, him appointing his own board and not having it up for like election or something like that, else, like that, I think was crap. But I don't think it was wrong to take Reedy Creek away from Disney. 
No, they they had too much power. And that that's something that's been discussed for or years. Or limit it, limit it a lot limited, more than it yeah. was. They it was they had too much. They were and su- they shouldn't get that back. They were supposed to build a city. Epcot was supposed to be a city. And when it became obvious that they weren't actually building a city, they should have walk back some of the power that they yeah. were given. Yeah, I mean, they can still have some of it, but they had way too much. But anyway, it is really funny, though, that Elon Musk basically just told Iger to go fuck himself. Oh, absolutely. Now, how is this going to pan out for X? I have no idea. Because I don't know either. At this point, I don't think he gives a crap. He's just like, whatever. That's a hell of a write-off. $44 I know, billion, dollars, you know? I know, uh, but the thing is, I think he's, I don't disagree with him the whole way because we've seen these advertisers do this before. Yeah, they, they think they can bully publications. They can bully platforms. Well, they can. They can. I mean, even in the advertising space, you know, a lot of ad networks and stuff now, they're like, they will freak out if you publish certain kinds of content they don't like. They've got literally have companies out there that are finding problematic content. But the flip side is they need them too. Yes. These companies need social media to promote their crap. And then they had had Iger talking about China and he's like, oh, I don't think, you know, the way China is, I don't think we're going to be doing as great China and everything else who go on TikTok. But they need like X and Facebook and TikTok and Instagram and all that because they need it for promotion. Well, that's why they're so mad. They want they want Twitter. They just don't want Elon Musk to own Twitter. That's just it. That's they want it to. They want Twitter to go back to what it was a couple of years ago, where it was so locked anti, down, left wing. If they were so anti Twitter, why are they still posting on it? Why did they just delete their account completely and just go away? Well, New York Times, they were like, we're not going to post on it. But so many is, publications they want. Yeah. Okay, they're not posting on it. They're not giving them advertising dollars, but they're not deleting their accounts either. No, you're, you're. So no. they're waiting. They're, we're just going to try to bully him to get our way and then we'll turn our accounts back on. Or we get somebody else that we don't want to lose our accounts with all our, you know, mostly fake followers because, you know, we spent a lot of money getting those fake followers and, you know, bots and stuff like that. And we don't want to turn it off. We'll just try to bully him out or, you know, bully him to do what we want. Yeah. He said, you can't blackmail me. He's like, what are you going to do? Blackmail me with money? Elon Musk. He's like, (laughs) what the fuck are you going to, you know, seriously, like seriously, you're going to, you're going to tell him. I mean, that being said, he's got a lot of people working for him, but, and they brought this uh, Linda Yaccarino in because she's like a, a, supposed to be good at selling ads and they brought her in to try to turn this around. And I think what's going to ultimately wind up happening with Twitter slash X is what's happening with a lot of websites right now, which is paywall. I think that, that it's, everything is going to wind up being paywalled. You might have a lot fewer users, but they're going to pay to be there. Except for the people who buy Teslas, so they'll get a free, a free blue check. Yeah. But yeah. there you go. The, I just think he said about, yeah, he said about getting things wrong sometimes and he called the guy the wrong name on purpose. And then I guess, yeah, that Yaccarino wasn't very happy. Yeah. He sat in the front row was like, oh shit. Said stone face, which means crap. Yeah. That means, uh, so watch her, watch her resign. You know, cause she's like, what the hell? You can't go out there and tell people to go fuck themselves. You Expect know. them to cut, turn the ad dollars back on. Cause it's her job to make the ad dollars be there. I, I don't know. I would f- I would probably quit. I'd be like, I she can't probably do will. my job because you're out. There. I mean, even though I don't disagree telling you know Bob Iger to go fuck himself, um, I would be sitting there like, this is it's my job and you're going to blame me. We don't have advertising money, but you just told Disney CEO to fuck himself publicly. That's so good. she's probably psh, you know, throwing papers in the I air mean, like, I'm out. That's going to cost him billions of dollars, but that is a badass big balls move. But he's probably going to wind up lose. I mean, honestly, he's even saying the company might crash and burn at this point. And he's like, it's my company might crash and burn. We might lose everything. Fuck you, Bob. I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. People are going to put that in there. Are they going to use that you know, ringtone? That would be something you do. put in a ringtone. Fuck you, Bob. Doing the Mickey Mouse voice? No, no. I mean, you, you, oh. Elon Musk you'd use it as your ringtone. Yeah. Just fuck you, Bob. It's only $44 billion. He's got more. He doesn't care. I'm just like... <laughs> All right. So this is this is fun. This is fun watching this. It like I said, I don't I never thought that they were going to be able to fix X. I was delighted that he bought it because I, I knew even if it burned down, it was like, well, it's going to be fun watching it burn down well, because so more, many of these companies are so in, entangled with it, you know. I was more shocked that he was surprised it wasn't worth the money he was offering immediately when he they said they were that's what he was I'm like, it's not worth that. Um, I was going to tell people, speaking of ringtone, uh, my ringtone for when Neon calls me is Star General Uterus from Sailor Moon Stars. Yeah. It's true. She said, it looks like it. my phone goes off and it's going, Star General Uterus. And everybody's looking at me like, what the hell is that? Anyway, can we wrap this up? Well, let's, let's wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. <laughs>